<laughs> Hi. I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite hairstyles, specifically how to do these like 70s kind of blowout look. I can't really show you the hot rollers because they're plugged in right here, but I have been loving these hot rollers that my mom got me for Christmas. I've been doing this kind of 70s like-ish blowout look a lot. And I think it's really cute and fun and a lot of you guys have been asking me how I do it So along with that, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorite hairstyles that are just really simple and easy Nothing groundbreaking just some Cute little hairstyles to take inspo from I'm also gonna show you guys how I do my bangs when I very first got bangs I Did a tutorial on how to do bangs and I literally just had no idea what I was doing like at all And they looked really bad and that video was really bad, but it's okay because I'm better now starting off with these hot rollers though. I have very clean hair, I just barely washed it. So I'm going to spray it with some dry shampoo just to give it some texture. Sectioning your hair is really important. It just makes everything so much easier. Sectioning your hair properly literally makes such a big difference. There's 12 rollers. I'm gonna split my hair in two and split each two sections into three different parts and use two rollers on each. Nah. Learning to do this took a lot of patience by just making these two even sections. Sorry, I'm using my monitor as a mirror. If I'm just like staring at myself, it's not because I'm obsessed with myself, it's because I can't see. I'm just gonna take one of these rollers and kind of roll the end up a little bit and then roll it up and kind of at an angle. As you can see, I'm kind of making it more straight up. Straight up. Now I use these little clips and just clip it. This is probably the hardest part is clipping it to a point where it will stay because these clips are just really flimsy and they just don't really keep everything that secure. I'm already burning. You might have to angle it a couple different ways to get it to clip, but just try and roll it as close to your scalp as you can. This can be kind of hard if you have a lot of layers like me, just make sure you get all the hair in there. Okay, I have four done. My memory card ran out of storage. And my monitor doesn't tell me when my cards run out of storage. So, I was just sitting there talking to myself. Sorry you didn't get to see the whole process. But I am done with my rollers, I just barely finished. I'm gonna let these set for probably like 20 to 30 minutes until they're completely cool. And then I'll be back. It's been probably like 30 minutes and I'm ready to take these out. I'm just gonna spray them really quick. Pretty good. Just to help hold the curl. And now this is the most, bestest part is taking them out. So when I take them out, I make sure that I kind of like follow the curl instead of just pulling on them. Did anyone else when they were a kid like sleep in hot rollers like this? Because I did all the time specifically for my dance recitals when I was like pretty little. And I could never imagine sleeping with these on my head now because I can barely sleep as it is. So I'm obviously going to do my bangs. I'm just gonna kind of shake these out and do this. It looks so funny right now because right here is like so flat and the rest of my hair has so much volume. But like, y'all get the picture. I think before I do my bangs, I'm gonna say a quick prayer really quick because this is using a lot of heat on my hair. So, hold on. Dear God, please don't fry the ever living fuck. Okay, I got a couple dents up here that I will fix with my flat iron. That's not me. Now we section. This is very important. And probably the key to having really nice looking bangs, if I do say so myself. Horrible, I literally could not have done a worse job. So I watched this TikTok the other day of this girl who had just barely got curtain bangs and she didn't know how to style them and she was using her flat iron and she was bringing them out to the side. That is not how you do it. When you have bangs or curtain bangs or anything that you want kind of like that really swoopy look, you flat iron them to the front or curl them, whatever you wanna say. So I have my first little section right here and I am just going to start at the root 
and not clamp too hard because I don't want to leave a dent like I kind of just did, but I just bring them forward like that. And then you push these out to the side and they give you that little swoopy look that you want. I usually do my bangs in three sections, so I'm going to section this off one more time. Curl it just a little bit, but not too much. For this look, since it is a little bit more 70s, I am curling it more than I normally would. Another tip, don't curl it right at the top and don't curl it right at the bottom. You wanna hit that right in the middle so it kind of you know, goes out this way, curls right here, but then the ends aren't too curly. Styling bangs is not easy if you have them. Hey, squad. I'm just gonna fix these little dents just with my flat iron, like just go over them to kind of straighten them. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of these pieces right here and just kind of unify them, kind of bring them all out to this little swooping motion and do the same thing on the other side. Hairspray and dry shampoo, depending on how textured you want your hair, plays a really big role in how your bangs look, I think. So I'm just, and now I'm just gonna literally hairspray my fingers and kind of go through the ends. I don't know, just like shape them the way that I want. I don't really even know how to explain what I'm doing. I literally am just shaping them to the best of my abilities. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. You can tease it, you can do whatever you want to it now. But yeah, this is how I get like my 70s-ish looking hair. I don't know, maybe it's not 70s, I feel like it is. So for the rest of my hairstyles, I actually filmed those a couple days ago, so I'm gonna cut to that. Um, don't worry, it's still me just from a couple days ago. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> just letting you know that I have bad cramps today, so if I'm in a mood, that's why. For people that have like super textured hair or like my curly haired people. Um, this video might not be for you. I apologize. I'm going to link some videos or creators down below that have like different kinds of hair textures than just like, you know, average white girl hair. But hopefully those will be helpful to you. So this is what my hair looks like just second day. I washed it yesterday. I also curled it yesterday, but the curls obviously fell. This is just what it looks like. Usually when I'm deciding what to do with my hair, I have three different kind of vibes that I like to go for, either very messy hair, very like classy looking hair, or just having my hair down. I'm gonna start off showing you guys like my very messy hairstyles first. My first hairstyle is one of my favorites. It's using claw clips. I feel like these recently came into style, like t early 2020 maybe. And I think they're really cute. Um, you don't need like a super cute, like expensive one. I also use ones like this that are literally just from like, I don't know, pretty much anywhere. Also, the way you use these depends on your hair length because it just does. I don't know, like if you have longer hair, you might have to do something a little bit different. But to do this, I literally just gather my hair. I usually will gather my hair towards the bottom, start twisting it, and then just bring it up and clip it towards like the middle top. And I like my ends usually to be out. I just think that's really cute. Then for a more messy look, I bring all of this hair down. And that's it for the first one. This is probably my go-to. I have learned that when I shower, I always put my hair in this instead of put it in a ponytail or a bun because then I don't get like a weird dent from the elastic. These hairstyles are not anything groundbreaking. My sister used to make a lot of like hairstyle videos with like these really intricate, like really hard braids to do. Those kinds of videos are just like too hard to follow along. And I just like to do like really quick, simple things for my hair. So that's just what this is. Just more like inspiration, not like really intense tutorials of how to do like super hard hair styles because I feel like no one can just no one has the time for that and no one can ever learn how to do them or maybe I just suck at braiding and I just couldn't do it. If you feel like your hair seems kind of like flat, I really recommend getting like face shaping layers. I just feel like that changes everything. Um, the next thing I'm going to do literally is just two messy braids. Something that used to really stress me out about when I would like try and follow a tutorial or something or just like do my hair in general is that I always felt like it had to be like perfect. I have learned that that is just not true. I feel like the messier the better. Like weird example, if I was gonna do this hairstyle like three years ago, I probably wouldn't because I don't have like mini clear elastics. But I just feel like I don't know maybe that just sounds stupid But I just like wanted it to look so perfect But I feel like the messier you make it the more perfect it looks because that's just the goal is to make it messy I literally just start pulling a bunch of hair out I have a bunch of little ends that kind of fly out because I have a lot of layers If you 
like the more messy look and you feel like you're just not getting that, make sure you are using some sort of product, either dry shampoo or hairspray. Moving on. One of my next favorite things to do is low messy buns. I usually will gather my hair around just like behind my ear and just take one of these elastics. These are very hit or miss. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm not one to spend a lot of time like making it look super good. So if it doesn't usually look good the first try, like I don't really try and fix it. I'll just like take it out and do it again. I literally just gather all my hair up and hope for the best. Wait, that actually worked good first try. Okay, this next one is so simple. Like, if, I feel like if I saw someone do this in a hair tutorial, I would literally just roll my eyes because it's so easy. But I literally am just gonna put my hair in like two little pigtails. If you wanted to add like a crimp or something or like some curls to your hair, I think that would also be really cute. I'm just gonna tease these a little bit just to give them like a little bit of volume. Spray them just a little bit and call it a day. So instead of doing double low buns, I'm going to do double high buns. These usually are very hit or miss. Is that a lot of Jacob Satoria's song? I remember in seventh grade or eighth grade, I bought his song on iTunes and my friends laughed at me. Well, like it was a joke, but like I still paid for it. Like I didn't have Apple Music at the time. Like it wasn't, I just like downloaded it. Like I paid like probably like 69 cents. I gave him all that money to buy weed. <laughs> That's strike three. What was two and one? These might be a little too much. I feel like this one needs a bobby pin just to make it. I'm redoing this one. I was on a good streak, but this one just doesn't, doesn't have saving. I don't really have a technique of like how I twist these or like pull them up. I literally just do it until it looks good. That looks cute. That looks better. Hairstyle number two. I know these were like really popular in like 2014. If you like them, do them. One thing that like not bothers me on the internet, but a little bit, I'll see someone do something and people are either like, oh, like don't bring that back or like, oh, I wish we could bring this back. Like if you like it, just do it. If you don't like something that's trendy, you don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna go listen to Halsey, I'll be right back. The next couple hairstyles are like my classy hairstyles, which basically just means it's the same thing, just more with a not as messy look and just slicked back. I don't know, I just think this look is really cute, especially with my bangs. I mean, you don't have to have bangs, but I'm gonna do the claw clip first. Um, I'm literally just gonna brush all my hair back, kind of to that same low ponytail. So now I go from one sort of Pinterest messy hair bitch to the other side of Pinterest, like classy hair. Actually, I can't tell what this, clip looks like. I feel like a big part of this is to make sure you have no flyaways, but that's kind of hard for me, especially because I have layers. I just literally sprayed hairspray in my hand and I'm just gonna go like this. I still like to pull up my uh, face framing pieces, just not as big of chunks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Same hairstyle, I just feel like has a different vibe, especially like with different outfits. Men are so annoying. What do you say? Remember girls. You don't owe men anything. I like to pretend that I'm French sometimes. For this next hairstyle, I'm gonna do the same thing and kind of slick my hair back, make sure it's all smooth. Also, don't ask why I'm using a round brush. I just generally feel like this brush gathers my hair well. I got this nice smooth ponytail and I literally am just gonna braid it now. I don't know, this is just one of my favorites that I see all over Pinterest, just like a slick back braid. And I just think it's really cute. See, this was like a cute pair of earrings. I can't remember if I did an outro, so I'm saying bye in this form. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you got inspiration from any of these and hope you learned something. Bye. Kisses. Oh, we're